Another question I got after doing that uh, wintry precipitation video was uh, about the formation of hail. It's frozen, comes down as a big ball of ice, could be a little bit more destructive. It certainly does not form the same way that this snow that's around me forms. So let's talk about hail formation and the difference between that and what we see with the other wintry precipitation. So the first thing to note about the difference between hail formation and then sleet freezing rain is just the general thunderstorm. You get sleet and freezing rain from, from a wintry setup. You'll have stratus clouds, low cumulus clouds. A hail core is going to form in a big cumulonimbus cloud. These clouds can reach 50, 60,000 feet up uh, higher than jetliners fly. And as you get this air coming up into the cloud, the air rises, it cools, it condenses. Then you get these little super cooled water droplets. They start to bounce together. They get larger and larger as they cycle up and down within the updrafts of a thunderstorm. Eventually, they get to a certain size where it no longer can stay in the atmosphere. Imagine, if you will, a, a softball sized piece of ice. It no longer can be sustained by updrafts, so it falls out of the cloud. As it falls, it typically melts. And uh, once it gets to the ground, it's measured by its size. Now you can have severe criteria, which is quarter size or larger. In the central plains, you have a dry slot in a lot of your atmospheric profiles. That allows for hail to stay up in a thunderstorm much longer. Thus, the size gets bigger. If you live in the southeast, we don't typically get softball baseball size hail, except in a very, very particular situation where supercells can support updrafts that hold hail that size. Another thing that's cool too, when it falls, you can actually count how many cycles that hailstone did in the cloud based off of the rings. Very similar to trees, it tells an age. So if the hail core has eight rings, it went up and down eight times in the storm cloud. That's how it works.